rotation of solids too. Given this sign, the elevation and the plan of it, or ask to rotate it to the 45 degree position. This is what it looks like looking directly down on it. And as it rotates, the end of the sign follows the circle until it gets to the dotted line. And that's the position that we require now. In the elevation, as we look at the front of it, all the points will move horizontally across. So as it rotates out to that position, every point moves horizontally. First thing we do is draw the points down vertically and then using your compass, rotate them around to the 45 degree line. And from the 45 degree line, draw them vertically up and then horizontally across from the elevation. And that's all the points drawn in now. And now just line in the outline of the sign. Now to locate the points on the star, we, the center point is up at the very top here. On the next line, there's four points. So this outside point here brought up, that's it there. The next one is the next circle. That's the four points now. Now the middle point here, brought down around the circle, back up to the center. And the same with this point. And then we have four points on the next line, which is the same as the points just above. And the center point will be directly below the top point. Line in your drawing. And that's that sign complete. Now the next question, you're given this sign which rotates like that. The plan of it again, looking directly down on it, is just a line. And as it rotates again, it follows the circle until it gets to the dotted line. And now the elevation of it, the points will move horizontally until you get the position like that and the circle becomes an ellipse. Now with the compass, rotate all the points around and then draw them vertically up and horizontally across. The circle is divided up into 12 equal parts, which are 60 degrees sets, so bring all the points across. Now just find the points on the circle, line in your curve, and that's your sign in its new location.